In this lesson in the SQL Fundamentals series, we will look at how to sort output, the use of column aliases, concatenating columns, and calculating columns. If you want to follow along uh, with the examples presented here, you need to log in to your MEC account and open up SQL Server Management Studio. If there's something in this lesson that's not familiar to you besides the topics we present here, then you need to review earlier lessons in the SQL Fundamental Series. The more data that you have to display, the more likely you're going to want to sort the output. Order by is a clause that you can add to the select statement to sort output. In this generic syntax example, we're looking at columns in the select clause from a table, add some criterion, and then order or sort by columns 1 and 2. The trick is to remember not to use the word sort, but order. Let's look at an example. Sort output uh, where we list students and their team ID and sort by team ID. So we construct our SQL statement. We do our select clause with the columns to display the table to get the data from. Then we say order by and list a field that we want to sort by. And when we run that in SQL Server Management Studio, this is the output that we would see. Null, by the way, has no value and it sorts at the top of the list because the word null doesn't actually appear there in the data. So the null values uh, will appear at the top of the list. You can sort by more than one column. Let's look at listing students by team and major. And so we're going to order by and then list the first uh, sorting category and then within that another sorting category on a different column. So if I look at uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and I'll highlight what I want to execute. We see the sorted output student team name first and then within that the student major. You can do a variation on this and you can actually sort by listing the order or the column, this, the column number in terms of the order in which the column is listed in the select clause. So I rearrange this and I'm putting student major as the third column in the select clause and student team ID as the fourth. So when I do my order statement, I'm saying order by column four listed up here, column three listed up here. Let's take a look at that. And so we see the sort is still by student team ID and then by student major. Another way that you can improve readability is to use column aliases rather than having the actual column or field name displayed, which oftentimes is abbreviated and can be fairly esoteric. So what we have here is we're going to display student team, major, first name and last name, but after each field in double quotes we've put text that we actually want to display as column headings. And so we see that in our output if we run this query in SQL Server Management Studio. You can also combine columns into a single column and this is called concatenating columns and in our example here we're going to take the student name, first name, plus and then in single quotes we put a space so that we separate the first name from the last name plus, which means to add another column, la, uh, student last name, and then the column alias will be student. And I'm doing an order by column one, which is student team, and column two, which is student major. So now I see team, major, and student with the two fields, the values in the two fields combined into a single column. And this variation, I flipped it around and I've added, uh, put student last name first in the concatenated column. I've added a comma and a space before I list the first name. 
and I'm doing a sort by one, two, three, so it'll sort by team, major, and then by last name. And so I see that output. The concatenated column we just created in the previous example is a calculated column, but you can actually do calculations and display them in your query output. Let's look at uh, an example where we take the scores assigned by the team members to their other team members and let's assume that that score which here can range from 0 to 100 we take 10% uh, of that and that would be the points earned for that particular uh, evaluation item so if we run this query then we see that we take score, we're displaying the actual score of 80, we're taking that score times 0.1 and giving it a column alias of points earned. So what we covered in this lesson was how to sort output by using the order by clause. We also looked at column aliases as a way of making column, column headings easier to read and we also used calculated columns. We did concatenating text columns into a single column display and we actually did a calculation with a uh, column that had values and displayed that.